Hello, and welcome to Alma, Missouri. Now today, we're going to be uh, well spraying some weeds right off the bat, because, well, the weeds need sprayed. And then we're going to be doing some hay, because, well, one, the grass is ready, and when the grass is ready, you, you, you make hay. And two, we, we need hay. <laughs> and also, uh, we'll probably be taking a pin of the cows over to... Uh, the butcher shop because i i don't remember what age we have been taking them over there but i can see that the price for them is actually starting to drop a little bit so we're gonna go and make sure that uh we can you know still get the right amount for them i don't i don't exactly know their weight all right guys i don't have a scale here at the house i can't go weigh them so we're just gonna do this by trial and error but regardless guys it's gonna be a good day we're gonna be doing some bailing, doing some weed killing, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just gonna be all around fun. So stick around. Hopefully you enjoy what you see. If you do enjoy what you see, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And uh, now that I have all of that out of the way, let's get to work. I was really excited to have this sprayer no no sprayer but i mean just to have this trident beforehand but now that i'm spraying with it i'm really excited to have it i'm spraying at 24 miles an hour i'm not missing any weeds so we're getting perfect coverage and we're not wasting any of our herbicide at all which herbicide is expensive so i'm like this is we're doing it fast we're doing it efficient I mean, why didn't I buy this earlier? Like, why didn't you all tell me to buy this? I am, I am, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in you guys. I, I could have saved so much money. Yet you guys just let me sit here and struggle. I, I see how it is. Thanks for the help. Well, that was actually kind of quick and easy. I really can't complain about it at all. Now... Here comes the easy fields to spray. The peas are pretty small, so it's going to make it to where we're going to be able to see where the weeds are. <sighs> they kind of blended in with the oats. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, now that we can see the weeds pretty easily, we're definitely not going to miss any on this field. So I'm going to go get all the peas sprayed and maybe do a light little spraying over all of the cornfields just in case. But I really don't think any weeds are going to pop up in those fields but i mean since we are running precision farming it, it it helps if you just you know turn on the sprayer and go drive through the field real quick so i'm going to go get all of that done and then hopefully by then the dew will be off the grass and we'll be able to uh go get some haying done and yeah hang and then butcher shop yes yeah those are that's I'm trying to keep track of everything that needs to be done today and there's there's a lot all right so it's kind of overwhelming my little brain I <laughs> it used to take us all morning to spray our weeds we just got everything done whoa uh y'all right oh, oh you know what not even gonna ask questions we just got it done in less than an hour okay I am <laughs> oh this is awesome I, I, I can't lie. I'm tickled pink. This is awesome. Like, that, that was... That was really quick. That was... Oh. The efficiency of this sprayer is amazing. Um, we used quite a bit less herbicide than what we would before. Okay, so we still do have some bales. That's good. We're going to be filling you up today. Um, now where... Oh, there you are. There's a swather, but no, that, that thing is amazing. I am, I am, I am happy. All right. Uh, yeah, we should be good on fuel. All right, let's go get some, let's go get some mowing done. It's really tempting to have a uh, worker go and do this for us. But uh, I kind of miss just hanging out in the swather all day long. I, I don't know if I'm weird for that, but I, I do miss it. It, it was uh, kind of therapeutic, if I'm not going to lie. You know, 
it, it, it felt nice. I'm finally done with the headlands. It is time to go and actually get everything mowed here in the center. And well, I'll say this, our yield is actually looking pretty good this time. I went, I manured the grass field. I limed the grass field. Everything, everything is pretty, coming out pretty well. I am I'm kind of proud of myself. I actually remember to take care of the field this year. So yeah, it's, it's a good day, a very good day. As we're progressing through this field, I'm starting to remember why I had a uh, worker do this last time. Even though we have an air ride seat in this swather, uh, yeah, it's a little bumpy. It's a little bit, a little bit hard on the back. Oh, I am going to be stiff tonight. Oof. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give the chiropractor a call. Maybe they can squeeze me in. Oh, but regardless, we're about halfway done with the field. Um, our long straightaways are done. We are getting on the shorter runs now, so we should be able to knock this out pretty quickly and then just have to go back to the house, jump in the Magnum and get out here and get everything put into nice giant windrows because yeah, we do have that 20 meter, I think it is, windrower. And uh, yeah, she makes some she makes some really big rows. I'm not gonna lie. That didn't take too long at all. I mean, now I gotta drive. Uh, let's see if we can just split this windrow. I really don't want to drive on top of the windrows right now because it's not good for the windrows to drive on them. But it is what it is. We got to get out of the field somehow. All right. All right. Get over here. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to run back to the shop and I'm going to, well, first check to make sure nobody's coming. All right. We're good. Now I'm going to run back to the shop, grab the windrower with the uh, Magnum, and then we're gonna come back here and get all of this windrowed up. And hopefully it's, uh, hopefully they're gonna be big windrows. I mean, actually I don't ha even have to say, hopefully I know they're gonna be really big windrows, but at the same time, hopefully they're not too big. <laughs> Cause yeah, I kind of I kind of have the uh, windrows that we already have right now set up for the 20 meter. And I really don't want to have to go change out the arms midway through and yeah, that'll just be a pain. So, cross your fingers, but it, hopefully it all goes okay. Let's not plug a baler today, because that is a pain in the rear to fix. Oh, oh, oh. I was, I was hopeful that we weren't going to plug the uh, baler, but... Oh, we might be plugging the baler today. Oh, we're going to have to bail really slow. <laughs> oh, those are some big windrows. All right, all right. It, we're, we're getting to some worse soil now. All right, so they're they're getting a little bit smaller, but still. Oof. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of bales though. Nice. Yeah, should work out pretty well for us. And yes, if you guys can tell, I'm saving the headlands for last, so that way, uh, you know. All the people that do this a lot won't be yelling at me too much. Well, that is some pretty easy math. Um, it only takes a quarter of the time to uh, windrow that field than it does to mow it because, well, we take up four rows with this windrower. So that's even math that 4B is allowed to do because it's pretty simple math. But yeah, we can get that field done pretty quickly. And now it is time to not run over our deal. There we go. See, best driver in farm sim. Didn't even hit our brace. Okay, now let's go get the mower, not mower, dear Lord, 4B. Get our baler. There we go. Words. English is very hard. Get our baler hooked up. And let's get to balant. Also, don't let me forget, I need to reset our counter because I'm kind of curious on how many bales we're going to get. I think last time we got like 112. I don't know. You, you guys could probably go look it up and figure it out. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do our best to figure out how many bales we had this time. Well, with the size of these windrows, um, I'm going to play it safe and we're going to go about seven miles an hour. Hopefully we do not plug 
up because, well, one, I really don't want to crawl under there and unplug. But uh, at the same time, I, I just I don't want to have any issues because we still need to go and load up our I think it's pin one. Yeah, pin one and get those guys moved over to the butcher shop. We need to get those guys cut up and start getting them processed because, well, they're 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 getting to the point where that needs to happen. Oh, OK, Ooh, hold on, I got to focus here for a second. Did I miss any. OK, oh, I probably shouldn't have looked back there. All right. You know what? If we miss some, we'll, we'll just come back and get it here in a little bit. But we still need to go get that pin loaded up, taken over the butcher shop. That way we can go and get another load of heifers, get them put in the, uh, actually, you know what? We might have enough for a load of bulls. Huh? I wonder, I wonder if we'll, you know what? We're, we're going to try that. Let's get a load of bulls this time. And if I got to go talk to the bank, I got to go talk to the bank. That is fine. Let's get a load of bulls and let's see if. In the long run, we get more, um, I'll have to write it down somewhere. I'll have to make sure that I remember where I wrote it down. But regardless, let's see if we can get more meat out of a load of bulls, a pen full of bulls. Well, well, they won't be bulls for very long, but pen full of steers and uh, make it to where. Yeah, I, I think we should get more money out of it. But I don't I don't know if we'll get more meat out of it. So I don't know. We're going to uh, risk it for the biscuit this time. All right. Let's turn you off. Get you unloaded. Come on. Fall off. There you go. All right. Cool. I guess you're going to fall on top of the other one. How many bales did we make? 103. OK, so I'm not mad about that at all. That's actually a pretty good, pretty good amount of bales. Oh, I just remembered. Now I got to pick all those up. <laughs> but bonus is we didn't plug the baler. Not a single time. So maybe next time I'll try for seven, eight miles an hour. Maybe we will. We'll, uh, we'll, maybe, OK, I'm not even going to say maybe we're definitely going to figure out how fast we can go because uh, yeah, that took an hour and uh, I don't want to take that long. Yeah, oh, 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 stop looking at the bales for B. Stop looking at the bales. Quit farmer driving. I, it's kind of counterintuitive, but I, I need to stop farmer driving. But uh, regardless, guys, we're going to run back to the house, jump in the semi, get the cattle pot loaded up and uh, go talk to the bank because I'm pretty sure that we're going to need to get a loan for buying the uh, bulls. Because, yeah, um, yeah, that's it, it's it's going to be pricey. Um, our profit margin is going to be way less, but hopefully we're going to get way more meat off of them. So that way, maybe we'll make more money in the long run. I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. All right. We have some money to play with right now, and I feel more comfortable trying to take this uh, leap because the next time we're definitely gonna be buying heifers because that is the uh, safe bet but we're gonna we're gonna risk it for the biscuit this time all right it is time to get these heifers unloaded make sure everybody is back to work because we haven't been running for a little while and then we will go talk to the bank and make sure that oh so much money sitting in there right now okay a little bit farther uh, hey, you know what? Just slam it. Yep, there we go. Like every bull hauler ever out there, just slam into the chute and we'll be good to go. All right, so I'm going to get these guys unloaded and we'll go get some bulls. Yeah, oh, that's, it's going to be super expensive, but you know what? I want to try it. I want to see if it'll work, see if we'll make more money. Let's do it. Well, that was $120,000. I was not expecting to... End, but I think we could potentially have a pretty quick turnaround because these guys are already full size, but their health is really low. So since their health is low, all we got to do is feed them, get their health up, and 
maybe we'll be able to go and put them in put them directly into the uh butcher shop um i'm hoping i don't know uh, i don't know if the, i don't know if our facility is big enough to actually uh handle them so yeah hmm it because i only had right sorry i'm a little flustered right now because i only had one of two options i could only buy a bull calf or i could buy a full grown bull and well i'll be honest with you guys i didn't want to buy full grown bulls i wanted to buy maybe yearling bulls get them a little bit you know make make them into steers get them a little fat you know go through that process but uh i don't have that option right now so we're just gonna see how well this works out with bulls maybe it'll be a quick turnaround a quick profit potentially i don't know it all depends on how much meat we're able to get off of them so this is kind of gonna be a uh no this is, this is not even kind of this is definitely gonna be an experiment but hopefully it works out for us and uh we're gonna end it right there guys because mm, i i i don't know how i feel about this right now so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that thumbs up consider subscribing and with that i will see you all in the next one later